welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY Schleich horse halter. This is actually the first time I've ever made a video like this, so please be easy on me. Um, also, I have a quick disclaimer before I start. Um, Pearl Schleich did make DIY Schleich horse halters before I did. Um, and I might have gotten some of these ideas from her, and I do have to thank her for bringing over some materials for me to play around with it. I'm sorry, Pearl Schleich, if this is completely copying you, because I'm not trying to. Um, I know how irritating that can be. I'm not trying to. So if this is your method, um, I'm sorry, I did not know that, but pretty much all of this is um, my idea, and I will give credit if some of this is at least part of Pearl Schleich's idea or um, all of it. So, but anyway, let's get on with the video. So the materials you are going to need for this craft are pretty much four simple things. Um, first, you're gonna need the horse that you wanna make the halter for. Then, of course, you're gonna need some string. And this is ac this actually isn't really string. I think it's more twine, but I was trying something different. I was trying to, trying to find a way so that the ends um, wouldn't kind of split and it'd make it easier to you know, tie knots and uh, make it stay. Um, it didn't really work that well, but this is the material I've got. I suggest using string. Um, it can be any color. I want purple for him. Next, um, you're gonna need a pocket knife. Um, this is my smaller pocket knife. I have a bigger one, but I found the scissors on this thing um, are sharper and cut easier and cut this stuff easier. Um, uh, do ask permission before you use a pocket knife or ask a parent or guardian um, to help you use it. Um, depending on how young or how old you are, just make sure that um, for your safety, make sure you are supervised or have um, permission to use this. And lastly, you are going to need super glue. Yeah, this is pretty much the four things that you are going to need. Um, so let's go ahead and start with this DIY. I sped this next part up because I wasn't making sense. So pretty much you're gonna um, want to measure how much string you want um, by putting it behind the horse's ears. This is gonna be for like the back part of the halter and this is going to be the first step you're going to do. And then once you think you have the right part measured, you're gonna wanna cut it. Make sure it's quite a bit longer than you originally like measured. The next step uh, is you're going to measure the nose band. And then once you measure it, try not to make it too tight. Um, you're gonna wanna tie a knot. Um, you're gonna wanna do two of the normal, they're kind of like shoelace knots. I think that's what you call it. I don't, I don't know how you call it, um, what you call it, but you're gonna wanna do two of them as you see me doing here. Make sure it's the right, um, I am struggling with this because, um, of course, I'm filming it. Um, but you want to make sure it's pulled tight, and then you want to um, keep the extra ends so that if the knots untie, you can always, um, you know, tie it back up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put the, the uh, originally measured string and you're put it around the horse's ears, and then you're going to want to tie it to the noseband. I'm just going to call it the noseband. You're going to only need to do one knot on this one. You might need to do two. Um, and you're going to want to tie it to that so that, um, you know, it looks like it looks like that. And then once you're done with that, you're going to put it around the horse's ears and then you're going to tie another knot on the other side. And you're going to stick it through the middle and then you're going to tie a knot. And you're going to want to try to make sure you do this on the horse so that um, it fits the horse correctly. I am accidentally made mine a little bit too tight, but I can still make it around the horse's ears. So just be extremely careful when you do this step. And then once you make sure you have the knot tightened, um, leave the extra loose ends out and let's get on to the next step. And so for this step, we're going to super glue the knots down. And you just, you know, follow the steps that, um, you follow the steps to use the super glue. Um, this is a liquid super glue, so I just kind of poured it on there. And make sure that your hands don't get stuck on it. I'm sorry you can't see this. I uh, was looking at the project. Um, 
And also make sure that it doesn't stick to the horse or your hands. Um, that is a very important step. I do it on the horse to make sure that the knots stay, you know, intact in the way it's supposed to be. So if, if I have to tighten something before I super, I super glue it, it doesn't get um, too tight. Because once you super glue it, the knots will stay. And um, there you go. I'm moving the halter to make sure that it doesn't stick to the horse. Um, it usually can be corrected, but you just want to make sure. And always make sure that you put um, the pointed objects up and always make sure you put the cap on the super glue when you're done. Then the next step is to cut off uh, the extra ends and the extra string. Or in my case, this is cord. Um, and I still leave a little bit extra because it's a new craft and everything. Um, I'll either edit, I'll either, I'll either cut it later or I'll just, you know, leave it like that. And that is how you make a Schleich horse halter. Next, I decided I want to make a simple lead rope for you guys to show you how to do it. I am not copying Pearl Schleich here because she has a specific way of doing it. Um, I tried to do my own method. Um, so I did not do the complicated way that she showed me how because I'm going to wait till, you know, she puts posts that on her channel. Um, so you take the halter off the horse and I have this pre-braided material I use. Um, I think it's cord you I'm using this pre-braided cord and you're gonna want to tie a simple knot um, on the big knot or beside the big knot that's at the bottom of the halter um, you're just gonna want to tie a simple knot and you're either gonna need one knot or two knots depending on you know how tight the knot is I think I did two for this halter and then you know once you do that um, it should be pretty easy and then what I think, what I did here is if you want to, um, that's how you make a halter, not a halter, a lead rope. Um, I tied a knot at the end of this lead rope for show and I double knotted it because I wanted to and also because it's, you know, you, you see the knot more. And then what I did next after I knotted it is I kind of fluffed up the end I fluffed up the end instead of uh, cutting it. Um, well, I cut it part of it off, but I left a little bit of the end there. And then, so yeah, that's how you make a DIY Schleich halter and lead rope. And then you can super glue those knots if you want to. Um, I did just to make sure it wouldn't come off. Um, I did both of them. Um, but yeah, that is definitely optional. Um, I would really suggest doing it for the halter though. As you can see, I also cut off the loose ends or the ends that, you know, I didn't cut off before uh, that I left. And so I did that for the lead rope. But yeah, that is how you make a halter and lead rope. Also guys, always put the cap back on the super glue and always put up your pocket knife or scissors. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you. It was my first, so if I wasn't good, please let me know in the comments. I would love tips. Pearl Schleich, if I copied anything, I did not mean to steal this idea from you. I really didn't. I just, you know, I couldn't film the next episode. Um, so I needed another idea and I thought, well, today would be a good day to do this. So, um, this is strictly pretty much my idea. I'll let her do the lead rope tutorial and then I'll come up with my own idea because I want to make sure that I don't steal anything from anybody. Um, but yeah, the halter idea, that was pretty much mine. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like this video and subscribe if you are not already a subscriber and go sub to Pearl Schleich. And keep an eye out for her tutorials that I'm pretty sure are going to be coming soon because she has told me she wants to do them. Um, and so thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys!